girls and guys, it's Presley, and today, since it's close to Halloween, I'd be figured I'd be talking about my worst fears. And of course, everybody is afraid of something. Yeah, no shit. So if you're not afraid of anything, well, whoop de fucking do Give yourself a round of applause. No, I'm serious. I'm, I'm, I'm serious. Give yourself a round of applause. Because if you're not afraid of anything, you are one lucky bastard. Anyway, so I'm going to be talking about my worst fears. So it's going to be when I was little to the point where I am right now. So when I was little, as soon as I started, you know, developing, you know, growing up and shit, I started to be afraid of loud noises, anything loud, whether it's the door or kitchen playset that I had as a kid, the Barbie remote control car, or loud flushing toilets, fireworks, vacuums. No, I'm serious. Vacuums actually used to scare the absolute hell out of me. No kidding. I'm not kidding. Because my ears were so sensitive. My ears were so sensitive to loud noises. I, my first reaction is to either cover my face or like cover my ears or anything like that so I can just avoid anything. And uh, nowadays, nowadays, um, loud noises don't bother me too much, but there are some certain loud noises that freak me out, like jump scares from movies. Like if you watch a horror movie and, some, and something big happens and whew, that, that scares the absolute shit out of me now. And uh, fireworks don't scare me that much. I mean, hey, I love fireworks now. I used to be scared of fireworks, but I love them. And, um, and my next fear that I used to be afraid of as a kid was snakes. Oh man, snakes was a major fear of mine when I was a kid. Ever since I was little, I remember this specific nightmare that I had. I was trapped in a car. I don't know what car it was. And snakes were slithering over the car, like the outside of the car, like, and I was terrified. And then a snake somehow got in the car and then started jumping at my face. And then I woke up screaming my head off and my mom noticed it. And I was, and I was terrified. I was terrified. And snakes is everybody's most common fear. If you're afraid of snakes, well, I'm sure you can relate to this one. And if you're not afraid of snakes, well, you probably either have it as a pet or you're just not afraid of it in, in general. So now I'm, I don't know what I feel about snakes now, but the one thing that I do kind of like about snakes is the way they shed their skin. And let me tell you, it may, it may seem gross to you guys, but it's so satisfying the way they just shed their skin like that. And there's like a specific video I'll link in the description of where like a carpet python sheds its skin. And it's like a, like a big python shedding its skin just And it's so satisfying. I'll link in the description if you want to see it. Anyway, my next fear was spiders, which is arachnophobia, of course. Most common fear. And spiders, well, I hate it when they crawl around the place, especially when it's on the floor, on the wall. I used to be afraid of anything scary or venomous when I was a kid. Now, spiders are still kind of scary. Don't, don't get me wrong, but if as long as I don't like, you know look up YouTube videos about spiders or see a spider. I mean, I'm, I'm sure I'll be okay for now at least. And uh, yeah, let's go on to my next fear. Just sorry about that. I had to let my cat out because she wanted to play in my room and she decided she wanted to go out. So anyway, now that I'm not so much afraid of a snakes or spiders or anything like, I mean, I'm still kind of afraid of them, but not as bad. It wasn't as bad when I was a kid. So 
what I am afraid of right now, like in the present, while I'm still 18 years old. Oh God, this is gonna be a pretty big doozy. There's only two major things I'm afraid of now. Demons and dying a painful death. Now demons, if any of you guys ever play with a Ouija board and successfully summon a demon, why would you do that? Like, you know, de if you don't believe in demons and say they don't exist, well, I got bad news for you. They do exist. When there is a heaven, there is a hell, and there is a hell. And Satan does exist. Demons exist. The pits of hell, burning flames exist. And if you ever play with an Ouija board, it's nothing to sneeze at or mess around with. You can't do that. Even if you go to Walmart and get an Ouija board, it don't even think about doing it. Even if you don't plan on listening to me, and after this video, if you plan on going and getting a Ouija board right now, don't even think about doing it. And the worst time to do it is like 3 in the morning or midnight. Because they're like, demon's hour or something? I'm not technically sure. So, take what I'm about to say for a grain of salt. Anyway, next. Dying a painful death. Death can be pretty scary, but for me... I don't know why. Every time I dream about something, it's always drowning or falling or something, dying in a painful way. It's so terrifying. Like, dying a painful way, it's, it's scary. And I don't, it's hard to control because you never know when you're going to die. And that's the most scary part. Either know how you're going to die or when you're going to die. And, ugh. I'd rather know when I'm gonna die because if I'm because if I know how I'm gonna die, then I'm probably gonna avoid that avoid that for the rest of my life and probably be miserable. Like if I got like if I if I'd say I'm gonna die by uh like a like falling off a building or something by accident. Well, I'm gonna avoid um tall buildings like the skyscraper and stuff. Seriously, I'd rather know when I'm going to die and then how I'm going to die. I'm sure most of you guys in this video is probably going to agree with me either way. <sighs> but anyway, I don't let these fears overwhelm me too much. And I just focus on what's going to happen in the present. Anyway, I'm going to end this video here. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you have any things that you're afraid of, let me know in the comments below. Anyway, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.